Well, hello there and welcome to a bonus episode of Travels with Jordi, being the very first behind the scenes episode. Yes, I thought it might be a little fun uh, during the shooting of last week's episode, the installation of the new windshield wipers, if I shot at the same time a behind the scenes uh, series of clips, which I've edited into what you're about to see. I'm, having not actually finished editing yet, I'm not sure really how well it works, but if it's any good, you'll see it and if not, you'll never even know I shot this. <laughs> talk a little bit about making a Travels with Jordy episode. Now most of you will know that Travels with Jordy is a real-time show or at least as close to real-time as I can get. In other words the show you watch on Saturday was shot the previous week. I like it that way because it means that comments and ongoing discussions are relevant to what's going on at the time. In other words, if I ask for a suggestion on something, well, I can implement it the next week. Anyway, I just believe it's closer to what I feel um, the show or a show like this uh, should be. So anyway, um, every week I gotta figure out what I'm gonna shoot. Now, I have a bit of a planning guide and I keep track of what I think I'm gonna be able to do in the next little while based on mm, upcoming weather, um, what I think I'm going to be able to afford in terms of materials and such, and probably lastly, my need. In other words, what I really need is a galley, and I've promised I'm going to give you a galley, but the truth is I can't afford the stuff I need for the galley just yet. So to keep um, moving along on the boat, there's lots and lots of other projects I can do. So for this example, for that example, this week I'm going to install the windshield wipers. Now, you might have said, well, Peter, we saw you had a windshield wiper going all summer. And yes, I did. You can see the motor there sitting on the helm. But it was kind of installed badly, and I wasn't really paying attention. I just needed wipers desperately to get through this cruising season. So this week, we're going to do it right. Now, as you can imagine, television shows or YouTube shows like this are rarely shot in a sequential order. I mean, it would be ideal if that's the way it was, but it just doesn't work out that way. Uh, for instance, I usually shoot the intro later in the week. Uh, the beer of the week is usually shot on Friday. Um, and the rest of the shots over the week tend to be out of sequence based on what I'm able to do at the time, largely the weather or sometimes getting materials. So what we're going to do right now is jump into setting up for this week's work by cleaning up the helm because when I start to shoot this I'd rather there wasn't junk all over the helm here I might even clean up some other junk that's been kind of haunting me for a while but as you can possibly imagine <laughs> junk that is not directly in the scene doesn't necessarily get cleaned up for every day's shooting so as I mentioned I have to take advantage of the weather uh, and especially at this time of year which is early December any decent weather is really, really critical for getting things done that have to be done at least partly outside. So in this case, I can't open this properly, but I can swing it open a little bit, and I remove these. There's a hole right here that goes outside that I hacked into the windshield frame this summer uh, to put in the windshield wiper temporarily. Now, I did a terrible job of it because I had to do it quickly and I wasn't quite sure how I was going to do it yet. So I have to really clean this hole out and re-epoxy it in other words, fill it solid with epoxy and then drill through that epoxy in a better location and straighter. And anyway, it's a mess, which I'll discuss in the actual episode. So I'm not going to shoot the rest of this episode today because I don't actually have the wiper blades yet. So I'll go and buy them tomorrow. But I do want to make sure I get this part of it done today because it's sunny. So shooting a show on a small boat with an awful lot of stuff on it is sort of like cleaning up for when the in-laws come. Yes, I basically grab stuff and take it and put it behind the camera where you can't see it. This little mess of my current Wi-Fi cellular network will just have to sit down here. Now I can close this. There's the wiper arms which we'll put into play. And this lovely big old compass has to go somewhere. The rover, my first Christmas card, and yep, this is Jordy. The um, bronze bits of the vents and the side marker lights, I'll put somewhere else. Obviously, these are up here. <laughs> and that's the other thing about shooting on location such as it is every once in a while there's a noise I didn't expect that is the horn of the uh, ship MV Coho just about to leave should we watch <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so while you guys are watching the coho leave, I was trying to set up the opening shot, which means tidying up up here and preparing the bulk of the materials that I'll need for it. Um, you wouldn't have noticed that I don't actually have the wipers. I easily could have carried on without that, but I can only find one of the wiper motors and they were a gift. So I know it's here somewhere. The problem is it's up here somewhere and it's just the classic thing, finding stuff, finding stuff. I don't need the other wiper motor today because I'm not going to shoot that segment. What I need to do is get the old hole dried out because it's dry out. Although you'll notice it's no longer sunny. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to remove these from here so that they're not in the shot and start to shoot the sequence for the episode where I'm drying out the hole. Okay, so I've set up for what's going to be the second shop in the final clip. The uh, heat gun is handy. The helm is clear, we're ready here, and I have the camera, which is actually my iPhone, uh, sitting over there, which will record the making of uh, part of this sequence. So, in a second, you're going to jump from this camera to that cam camera, and I'll shoot the shot. All right, then this is how it goes. So, uh, I shoot with the GoPro 10, and I simply hold it by its little uh, quickie mount that normally sits in the tripod, and I hold it at arm's length. I'm sure you've guessed all of that already. Okay, let's shoot the, uh, the clip. All right then, so one of the first things I have to do is tidy up the old hole. As a heat gun, blasting air out of it while I twiddle my thumbs or have coffee or something. Okay, so that's all there is, except for that beepy stuff. That's all there is for a shot. Uh, now I'll set up for the next shot, which is actually the hair dryer just running. I don't like to show like unwinding wires and plugging things in because the viewer knows I do that. I only want to show clips that's actually original or unique content. So we'll see in a bit. All right then, so I've prepared the heat gun. It's plugged in. I won't start running it while I'm talking to you because it's noisy. But for the actual clip, there will be no voiceover. So I'm simply going to do a little slow outside pan which may get spat. I don't know what I'll do. In editing, I'll decide what I'm going to do with it. So, it goes on. GoPro goes on. That's all there is. Now, actually turn it on. Let it do its work. Okay then, so let's put a little movie magic on top of movie magic. My next step is to go prepare for the next shot. And in that case, it's getting all my epoxy gear to be able to epoxy up that hole. Normally while I do that, the heat gun would still be on. But as I said, movie magic within movie magic, I've turned it off so you can hear me now. Now, ha, the problem is my epoxy gear is like everything else on the boat, seriously packed away in a bin under my bed, way, way at the back. I'll, I'll save you the process of digging that out. Yeah, great. No, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, I'll see you up. Yeah, I'll see you up at Piper's Corner in five or so. Excellent. Cheers. Bye. Okay, well, uh, that just shows you what one of the little complications are of um, shooting in a real world environment uh, when your friend calls you to meet you for lunch at the pub, which is perfect. So yes, a little bit of a delay, but it's Scott and I'll always meet Scott at the pub. Um, I don't dare leave the heat gun running while I'm away, which is kind of a shame because this was that, that drying period, but pub lunch with Scott, can't miss that out. Where are you, Scotty? Good idea. Good idea. Always a good idea. Always a good idea. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. I just face planted the phone into the. All right, let's try that again. Should we try that again? Let's try that again. From let's see zone. that in instant in replay. In instant replay. <laughs> awesome okay, idea. idea. Excellent idea. Let's try that again. <laughs> okay, man, see ya. It's been great. Okay. Back to work. Okay, well while I'm out, what I should do is take Griffin for a bit of a walk. He could definitely use a pee. Okay then, back to work. Where were we? Yes, drying out the hole. This will take a while. Digging out the epoxy. Okay. 
Okay then, so I framed this shot, which is the actual episode camera, and this shot, which is, well, it's the one you're watching me on now. So, I'm going to shoot from here and mix up some epoxy. So, we'll start the camera here, and we'll bring in the stuff as if it's a developing shot. Alright then, okay, so I dug out the epoxy, and we're going to make up just enough. This is not pumping, which means I should pump it into something else to get it to prime. Isn't that the way it always goes? real life let me find something to prime it with basically a wad of paper towel that will go straight into the garbage why has this lost its prime anyway let's pick up where we left off always being careful not to get epoxy on the very nice gopro Okay then, so that's so simple. Now we'll set up for the next shot, which is actually uh, putting some tape. You'll, you'll see in a sec. Somewhere there. One huge advantage of the GoPro is that it's such a wide angle lens. You rarely have to set up the framing uh, because just about if it's in front of the camera, it's going to be in the shot and then I can fix it in while I'm editing, post-production as we call it. Although more many of you have seen me frame really badly now and then where I'm not actually in the shot. Okay, I'll get rid of this because it's no longer part of the current story and I need some tape. It just happened to be at hand. Okay, let's shoot. None of this is in the shot, so it doesn't matter. All right then, so we'll put a little... let's go outside and uh, fill it up. Okay, this is an all new shot. I have to take the GoPro outside, so um, the work I'm doing is actually in the shot and uh, the materials I need to do it, which is the mixed epoxy, keeping in mind that this is now starting to cure, so there's no wasting time, and the camera. See ya. All right, then when I'm doing work like that, I'm always trying to keep at least one finger clean so I can turn off the camera. But my way too sticky to actually pick up the camera. So I'm gonna go back up, tidy all that up with the same clean finger. I'll turn this off. Okay, all right then. So that's all I can do today because the epoxy has to cure. So I'll clean up and start to prepare for tomorrow's shoot and go off to the chandlery and get the wiper blades themselves. First having confirmed the size. Anyway. We'll check with you tomorrow. Well, good morning. There's a lot going on today, so I'll have to do the work and the shooting in amongst some other commitments. But first thing I want to get done is um, download yesterday's footage and put a little more charge in the battery. Normally I would do this uh, well, the night uh, before, but I forgot. I'm gonna go down into the nav station and download the memory card. You don't have to come. Look what I found and it wasn't easy. Okay, um, <laughs> now I'm going to get started and try to develop the story a little bit. So I'm going to talk about the motors, why um, I've decided on these particular motors, and more importantly, how I'm laying them out on the windshield. And well, you'll see in the episode how I make that decision. Okay, okay, am I got everything ready? Okay, let's start the actual shoot. All right, so here I have the two wiper motors, which were kindly gifted to me on the Amazon wish list, and I'm so grateful for that. I've marked them wires. Again, we'll get into all that. Okay, let me get my head straight, and we'll. we'll uh, hmm. And as you can see, because I don't rehearse any of this, sometimes I go off on a tangent that is just unusable. Okay, let's try that again. So let me give you an example about why top mounted doesn't necessarily work all that well. Okay, so the shot I have to set up for now is to go over to MV Zephyrus, which has top mounted wiper arms. And I can show what I'm gonna show about the water cascading and not getting wiped off very well. But I don't wanna do that right now because I'm all set up to shoot here. Plus I have lovely light to move on to the next thing. So 
that shot is going to be shot later and pumped back in here at editing time. But I have to kind of keep the story flow going and talk about things I've already shown. It's not that it's hard. It's just I'm never good at it. Okay, now on to the wipers. So, but before that, I have to finish explaining why it is I've chosen the rest of the way these wipers are set up. So let's jump into that. Okay, so now you know why I want to put the wipers at the bottom, and I'm okay with that aesthetic, no problem. But there's two major considerations when you set up wipers, it whether the wipers are can. So let's jump to that and have a look at why. Okay, so now I have to imagine what I'm going to shoot in AutoCAD. I've done the drawing, but I haven't done the shoot. I'm not going to do it now because it's a nice day. Another shot I have to do in the future. Let's jump to setting up the motors. Okay. Okay, we're settled. I hope you're in agreement. Wipers will be at the bottom. Two. Let's jump back down and look at the drawing for that. Okay, this is a few shots out of sequence, but uh, that's okay. I can deal with that. Um, did I see where we're going to get going on the on the actual modifying of the motors? That's what we're finally going to do. If I can remember how I set it up. Okay, with that all determined, I should know the angle that they're going to sweep through and... Um, Okay, with that all determined, I should know the angle, everything's gonna sweep through, and the length of the blades. However, there's nothing like actually putting it in place to confirm that. So, because I know, I've already set out to set up. And, and you probably don't need to see this, you're gonna see it in the show. I'm gonna spend a little time figuring this out, and I'll be right back. I have to do that more often than you might think. There's no way the general viewer, you, are interested in me sitting around trying to figure out what it is I'm doing. So I try to condense it into at least a thought pattern that makes sense for a show. But this is remarkably complicated and you don't want to watch me humming and hawing. I don't think. Okay, I figured it out. To be frank, I'm a little embarrassed how complex it was. Um, I'm not going to blame the documentation. No. Okay, let's go. Okay, I figured it out. Um, and I'm a little ashamed to say, easy. That's not the right screwdriver. Typical. Okay, so the next stuff to shoot is actually figuring out where to drill the holes and drilling the holes. And again, I wanna prep for that because I don't wanna be hunting around for drill bits while I do that. So first to determine the size and the documentation says it's an inch, but it's actually five eighths. I've decided I have to do this a little bit differently, so I'm deep into my cutting stuff bin uh, and trying to dig out an appropriate hole saw to make... Uh, anyway... All right, as usual, there's a change of plans, and uh, you'll see in the main episode, I'm actually going to cut a little bit out of the bottom of the trim. It's a little bit ugly, but there's nothing much I can do about it. This hole needs to be big enough that this three-quarter inch socket will fit inside it, because that's the socket for the nuts for the shafts. Let's go outside and make a mess of my windshield. Okay, so both motors have been trimmed and uh, they're ready to be installed and holes have been drilled for the wires to go down into the uh, foxhole to be wired up. Now, I'm back to an order of operations issue. Uh, <laughs> it's Thursday afternoon. Um, I would very much like to be able to get these aligned before it starts to rain, either tonight or tomorrow, solid. And I haven't bought wiper blades yet. In the meantime, I'll install the motors. Okay, with the hole drilled for the wire, I just twist all the wires together, send them down the hole. I generally like to finish shooting by Thursday. That means I can start the edit Thursday night, get a rough idea of what I need, and if I need some more stuff or to reshoot something, I can do it on Friday and finish the edit on Friday. Okay, with this light, uh, I still haven't shot the intro. Okay, they're done. And because I make up everything as I'm going along, I'm not even sure what I said, but in editing, I'll be able to see if I can chop that into something usable. Okay, wiring. 
No, 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 not wiring, not wiring. We're just getting the sun back for just a little bit. So I am going to take advantage of that and shoot this week's Beer of the Week, which takes a few minutes to get sorted. Basically, I have my pad that I uh, just carry forth. But let me show you. All right, so this is an ongoing pad that I use continuously for the Beer of the Week and every page for a different episode. Put the episode number at the top and I start off with last week's winner. And to select last week's winner, I simply take my phone. However, you're watching on my phone, so I can't do it now. And I scroll through the comments and I put my thumb down and the first one I get to that mention the word goes on it. Um, now this one's a little different because last week's was shot in Nova Scotia, kind of on the fly, so that's 280. All I need to remember is the word was missed. So that's cut off. Starting again, 281, last week's winner was Mr. Some Effects. I don't know if that's a Mr. or not, but anyway, Some Effects. Easy. Next line. I do my thanks, my shout outs to my patrons. No patrons this week, no new, no new PayPal this week, so nothing that's out there. But I have quite a bit, and wow, of uh, nice stuff off the Amazon wish list. So I put the object, and normally when I get something on the wish list, it comes with a little sheet that tells me what it is and who it's from, so I can write that down. Three objects, that's really great, three gifts. And uh, you'll have seen that in the episode. And last, I come up with the word that is gonna be the word of the week. My current word is clear or clearly because I can see clearly now that you know what I mean I don't know if that's what I'll use basically right when I'm shooting the beer of the week I may come up with something else or if I have a guest they'll come up with something else it really doesn't matter sometimes it's remarkably difficult to think of anything okay that's ready now I just get ready all the stuff including the beer it's getting cold but there's just a little bit of light about to disappear behind the Robert Bateman Center if I can just get this shot in the next few minutes, there'll be some nice light. Okay, always racing for decent light. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, I've got the beer. I've got all the prezzies. What I don't have is the GoPro. Dang! Okay, I've got the GoPro and I've done the framing. It is right over here on your left. And the only thing we gotta wait now is for the plane. <laughs> Always waiting on the plane. But anyway, it's just coming in and it's landing and it should be good. The beer. Now I have to give a quick study to the beer because I bought this two weeks ago and I have no idea what it is. Uh, Four Winds Nectaris Dry Hopped Sour. I don't really even like sours. Okay, this is the last of the light. This is my chance. Start the camera and roll. We gotta remember not to look at you, but look at you. Well, hello there, and welcome to the Travels with Jordy Beer of the Week. And we're up on the bridge deck because today is a beautiful And if I pick you, you want a Travels with Jordy t-shirt. See you next week. And there goes the sun. Mm. Hmm. Okay, and that's done. We turn the camera off. As I said, it barely, barely had enough power to get through that clip. And I was racing because I was trying to catch the light. Um, when I edit this, I'm going to be so like, oh my God, Peter, you're talking at a thousand miles an hour. Not that I ever talk slow. Okay, we got that done. All right then, good morning. Time to go off and do some shopping. Um, thing is my truck is parked 15 minutes from here in the basement of a hotel, which is great, uh, but it does mean I get a little walk every time I need it. And that actually has been just fine. I realized I use the truck, well, much much less than I used to because I can walk to almost everything. Well, with the exception of a hardware store, a chandlery, and an auto parts store. So let's nail all those for you today. All right, folks, I have Wiper blades, now they're kind of cheap, but uh, they're, due to the supply chain problems, there were no 18 inches that would fit those hook type, uh, so I got 19 in cheap ones. So, let's get shooting. And we're off. All right, folks, well, I've procured um, uh, wiper blades, and let's go outside and put them on. Let's let's gear up for the outside shot. I'm gonna leave you guys in here and you can look through the window. That's okay with you. Okay, so the blades are on, the arms are on. I'm really excited. I think it's all gonna go well. 
Um, what I've said is I'm gonna go inside and turn them on and see how they work. Well, I haven't wired them up yet. And the truth is I'm not gonna show anyone wiring them up because I'm gonna do a quick and dirty version of it. I'm not even gonna show you. Not, no, no, next thing you see is they're gonna work. And the moment of truth. Okay, folks, let's see how it clears. No good. They weren't in park. They're parked on the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Left, right, left, right. Okay. That's not so good. Okay, here's where I have to come clean. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, folks. Yeah, I kind of messed that up. I don't know how I assume I'm going to see you. Let me think about it for a minute. I don't mind making mistakes. I, uh, let me think about it for a minute. You know, I don't really mind making mistakes. It's what I always said to my crew when I was a builder. I said, mistakes aren't the problem. It's how well you fix them that counts. So let's get this fixed. Okay, I believe this is it. All right, folks, I've extended them out about three quarters of an inch and let's see how they sweep now. They just missed the top by about a quarter of an inch. Okay. I'm going to call that a success. Now we just need to test it with some serious rain. And serious rain is coming. Although it is Friday around 4 o'clock, 3.30. Uh, so I'm running out of time. However, if I edit the whole uh, two episodes, uh, both the one you're watching and the one that we're shooting, tonight I will be able, hopefully tomorrow, at the big rain, to shoot a few clips of big water coming down these windshields. And... Um, and and uh, stick them into the into the edits. You know what I'm gonna do just to get it done. I'm just gonna use a hose. I'm just gonna use a hose. I'm gonna go get a hose. Okay, folks. Well, I have set up a hose outside, and I really just want to show you uh, how this is gonna cascade water better than it does with a top mounted wiper. And of course, I'm just hoping that that's the case because I believe it's the case. And it's well, it's too late now, isn't it? Let's go outside. Looked awesome. Okay, let's do that all over again on Zephyrus. Let's move everything over there. Okay, camera set up. I'll start the wipers and go inside. Ooh, I'll tell you one thing, they're noisy. Okay, now I have to do a little sneakery. I couldn't really see it from where I was, so it either was a good illustration of what happened or not a good illustration of what happened. So on the actual camera now, I'm gonna take two takes, one saying, wow, that's, I'm really, I, it worked great, or I'm gonna say, you know, <laughs> differences, anyway, you, you'll see what I mean. It's hard to tell from where I was if that actually made much of a difference. It's, it's almost as if top mounted wipers Okay, and here's the other version. Okay, and that proves uh, without a doubt that top mount wipers just let the... Okay, so you can see there's a little fibbage going on. Well, not really fibbage, I just don't know the truth yet because I haven't seen the clip. See ya, Coho? But uh, I'll know by the time I do the edit and then I can insert the proper clip that tells the truth. We're just about done. Okay, so just the conclusion shot. All right, folks, well, that pretty much sums up the wiper install. No, I'm about it. Anyway... Very pleased. Cool. Now, I don't know if that's the end of the episode because I have no idea how long everything was. So there's going to be all the sequencing that I shoot on the computer, which I've yet to do. Hoping to do that tonight, which will have voiceover and stuff like that, but I don't need good weather for it. This episode ran a little long.